In this video, we need to know if each item from list 2 is in list 1 over here. And we need to do it with a formula. Anytime you're comparing two lists, there are two questions you can ask. Is this item over in this list? True it is. False it is not. The second question you can ask is, is this item not over in this list? True it's not. False it is. We'll start with the first question. Is produce fast and fresh over in this list? Well, if we were doing it manually, we would see it's in the second position. Is healthy garden over here? Well, as I look through, it doesn't look like it's there. But I don't trust my eyes, so I want a formula. We start by using the lookup function match. I'm going to say, hey, look up that item as a relative cell reference, comma, the entire lookup array. That's the entire list. We need to lock it with the F4 key. So as we copy down, it's lock, comma, and we're doing exact match because we want to search for exactly those characters. 0, close parentheses, control enter to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell selected. We can already see that it worked because it's telling us the item for this row is in the second position over here. If I double click and send my formula down, healthy garden produce gets a not available. That means it's not in the list. Third position, 6, 16, those are all over in this list. Now, anytime you do a formula that compares two lists, the match will give you a number and an NA. If you are interested in knowing if this item is over in the list, then you care about numbers. If you want to know if it's not in the list, you care about the NA error. Since we care about is it in the list, we use is number. Match goes inside, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. Now we have our patterns of trues and falses. True means that's in both lists. Now once you have the trues and falses, that's the base of any formula that compares two lists when you're interested in is the item in both lists. Once you have these trues and falses, you can sort, filter, or even build an array formula. Now if you're interested in the question, is the item not in the list, like in this library database situation, here's a list of all the books. And we went out and did inventory. So I want to know, is this item here not over in this list? That means the book has not been returned. Well, we do the same match base. We're asking, is this item over in here? Match will return, Control Enter, the relative position. So that book was found, 83rd position over here. Double click and send it down. Oops, East of Eden has not been returned. Now I have the whole column highlighted, the active cell at the top. I hit the F2 key. And because we're interested in, is it not over in that other list? We use is NA. Close parentheses. Now to populate this formula all the way down, I use Control Enter. So in summary, is in list, use is number and match. Not in list, use is NA and match. All right, here's your bonus formula. Hey, we could use VLOOKUP. But look at this. We're going to look the item up in the list. And this is one of those weird situations where the column index is 1. That means it will actually return the text item to the cell. So to check if the item is in both lists, we take that text item, ask if it is an A. That means not in both lists, and then wrap not around it. Now I have a great playlist of videos with all sorts of different ways you can compare and merge two lists. Check out that playlist. Also check out the next two Excel magic tricks where we'll see how to extract the items that are not in the second list.